Enjoy this visual demonstration from SynthroTech.com. Steve here with SynthroTech again, and we are showing off today a new product we have called the VacPack. We're really, really excited about it because it's a small little circuit that allows you to take control voltage and then convert it into variable resistance. So if there's a module or a circuit bent toy or on really anything else that you want to be able to control uh, variable resistance on, you can take this product, put your control voltage in, and it'll pop out variable resistance for you. So um, for example, if you have a module that doesn't have enough control voltage over every parameter on there and you can find the proper resistor or potentiometer possibly that you can put this into you can add control voltage to that uh, it's a real fun project and i've made things like this which i've put some videos out here on instagram of that kind of show how i'm able to take control voltage out of my sequence 8 sequencer as well as some envelopes and really do some amazing things that i couldn't do with typical circuit bending now i want to show you guys how to dial in your vac pack to use in a particular circuit of your choice and the system I'm using to do that is I have a I have a variable amount of control voltage that I'm being able to kick out here by sequence eight. I've put the hard hold on, so it's keeping it on step one, which is allowing me to have five volts out max. So I've got five volts coming in to the circuit into uh, J1, and I've got a nine volt battery connected up to it, powering the whole vac pack because you need to power this somehow because there's a uh, transistor and an IC and all that stuff. You you don't have to use a nine volt connection. You can also use power um, in the particular device that you're that you're wanting to use this circuit in. And then there's another connection for power here too that allows you to daisy chain multiple vac packs together. And so uh, if you want to do something like this, you can you can string as many as you can uh, as as the current will take. So, and then what I've got connected here out of uh, J4, which are basically like two leads of a resistor is what we're getting here. Those are connected up to these alligator clips, which are going into my multimeter. And this is telling me what the amount of resistance that's coming out of there based upon my control voltage. And the way this works is more voltage equals a brighter LED in the LDR. And that will, excuse me, that will make the LDR have more current pass through, which is less resistance. So the more voltage equals um, less resistance, less voltage equals more resistance. So um, what I'm doing here to kind of just get my get my vectoral spec'd out first before I put this into a circuit is I've turned these two trim pots all the way clockwise. That shows me over here on my multimeter what the minimum resistances or the the bottom end here by resistance which is only about 170 ohms so that's pretty great i can i can get it almost all the way open that's not very much resistance at all um what these two different trim pots do is the offset trim pot allows voltage to come into the circuit which i'm doing right now by opening it up all the way by turning it completely uh, clockwise and you can see here that basically what's happening is I'm, 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 I'm kind of feeding it. I'm offsetting the circuit, some DC offset, so that there's already voltage in the circuit. So with this setting, I'm not going to get much of a range when I kick down my amount of voltage. So let me turn it down here a little bit here on my sequence eight. And as you can see, if I turn it basically down, I'm like one volt or more. I'm only going between 170 and 270 ohms. That's not very much. So I might want to turn that offset back, but let's first of all check out the scale feature. Let me turn this all the way up again, so I have five volts. As I start backing the scale feature up here, the scale trimmer, you'll see that the resistance starts going up. And let me give it some voltage here. And still not getting a very big range. I'm getting about between, oh, what was this? Five, 350 ohms to about, at almost nothing, about 0.75. 0.6. So, you know, I'm getting about 300 ohm range there. That's not really very much. Um, so again, you can mess with this. You can keep turning this back, turn the scale back all the way. Let's close that up here. And you can see that, boy, I'm almost at three. Let's give it, let's give it just a tiny bit of juice here. And you can see that um, when I've got full voltage here, I'm at two kilo ohms. Let's, let's get rid of voltage on this, on the control voltage. And now I've got a range between two kilo ohms and about five kilo ohms. That might be better. That might work for your circuit. 
it's something you might just need to play by ear too, just to kind of figure out what works for you. But let's let's go in here and um, to get the maximum range here, what I'm going to want to do is turn the scale all the way clockwise, and we'll bring back the offset all the way counterclockwise. And you could see when we had it configured up where they were both cl fully clockwise, it was about 170 ohms. This brought it up about another 100 ohms, not very much again. But this is going to give me a huge range now. Now watch when I start turning the voltage back here. I'm already up to five, 500 ohms. Now I'm getting into almost 1K. And then I'm getting into, as I put less voltage in here, oh boy, I'm at 7K. And as I keep going here, I'm probably going to start, as I fully shut it off, I'm now into the, it's rising up into the mega ohms. Basically, I have um, tons of resistance. It's almost just a closed circuit. So you can mess with these trim pots using a multimeter setup and a voltage source that you can change. Just to kind of see your ranges. And as you kind of notice here, it's kind of more of an exponential like curve. It's not completely linear with the Vactorals we're carrying, but um, it, it does give you quite a, quite a wide range. Our sequence aid is great for doing these kinds of things because we can actually attenuate it down and get a smaller range of voltage movement. But um, mess with it, find out what settings work for you. Um, but I really hope you enjoy this circuit. As we, uh, as we progress here, I'm also going to give you a demo of how we've used it in a circuit. So stay tuned for that.